So you're working in the tech industry, or actually any industry that has a ladder to climb. And there is that next level, a bit higher position that is perfectly suited for you. But somehow, no matter what you do, you cannot get promoted. Why is that? What's going on? This might seem like an impossible task. Promotion comes from how lucky you are or how good friends you are with people upstairs. Well, in some cases, that may be true, but in reality, most likely you're doing something wrong and don't even know about it. I'm speaking from experience, as I have been promoted multiple times and was able to get some serious responsibility. And while I'm deeply grateful for all of the opportunities given to me, I'm a serious believer that you make your own luck and you're the main person responsible for getting on that next level. Luck has to be helped or it won't work today on having coffee with smoke. Let's dive into five reasons why you're not getting promoted and onto some backgrounds why those reasons are very important. Reason number one isn't a secret but it's key to even begin thinking about getting promoted. Simply put, your work is not good enough. Delivering what is expected of you is a simple first step that you cannot fake in any way. If you have some missed deadlines or some projects hidden at the bottom of your drawer, some unfinished things that are still waiting to be done, they will hold you back. Same thing goes for fuck-ups that happened over a couple of last quarters. It doesn't matter if it was on a project or with a colleague. No manager will promote you with clear conscience. They wouldn't be respected. First, get your house in order and then you can think about next step. Reason number two. You get caught in a tenure trap upon joining the company. Some recruiters will promise you quick promotion. They will say it's a couple of months up into a half a year until you can get promoted if everything's all right. They just don't have the headcount right now, but as soon as you join, you are up for promotion. Don't believe that, it's a setup. Most companies won't promote you within the first year, no matter what you do, just because they need proper time to vet you. And most likely, there are other people already in the company that have been waiting for promotion way longer than you. Expect your earliest window for promotion to be within 12 to 18 months, not sooner than that. Reason number three, you're not voicing your desire to be promoted. You think that if you just do your job right, eventually the promotion will happen automatically. Well, it might. But it's hardly ever a case if you're not actively seeking promotion. Managers are not omniscient. They cannot read minds. They cannot be sure that you're ready or even interested in being promoted. It might surprise you, but a lot of developers are perfectly happy with the level of responsibility they have right now and they are not interested in getting any more burden. So talk to your manager openly about your career and keep reminding them to get you on track to get promoted. Review your progress in a timely manner and make sure you're not guilty of one more thing. You're not meeting formal requirement of a promotion. You didn't fill the form or didn't prepare promotion documents. Reason number four, you're not doing the right projects for a promotion. But what are the right projects you might ask? Well, that is exactly your problem. You don't know. And you should know the rubric for the next level by heart. Make sure that you understand what is required from you. Is it solving the technical ambiguity? collaborating with peers or handling the customer relations. Make sure that you pick the projects that will help you tick those boxes. And after you complete them, write down the exact thing that you did to manifest those necessary skills. That will help you later when you come back in two months time with manager to talk about your promotion. You will have it all written down, ready for you waiting. On this note, it's worth to mention to communicate with your colleagues about the projects that you need. Oh yes, openly ask them to help you get the right projects. If you cannot make it happen for one reason or another, initiate the projects that will help you get that scorecard punched. 
After all, the best ideas come from necessity, right? Last thing that you might be doing wrong about your project is focusing on the wrong things, like micro-optimizing that loop or pixel-perfecting that UI. Sometimes, yes, those are valuable things, but if you're up for promotion, focus on things that will actually get you the most track covered. Invest your time and efforts there. Eyes on the prize, my friend. Reason number five. You don't know the objectives of people around you. Ah, yes, sounds intriguing, right? Well, think about it this way. Colleagues need your help and advice on their projects. You need to remember that their feedback is always asked when promotion is in play. Better to give them a good reason to write a good one. Look the other way. Managers also have their objectives. Understanding them will lead you to great strategy. I know for a fact that in some companies, it is a requirement for managers to lead a team of certain level or to have some projects completed in timely manner to get promoted. You can use this to your advantage. For example, jumping to help a colleague on a project that manager really cares for when the deadline is near, that is really high value for the org. On the other hand, this could be your compass. If you can see eye to eye with your manager, maybe it's time to look around and figure out if there are other teams nearby that have room for somebody who is actually looking to get promoted. Since we are shifting focus, understand what objectives are in front of product owners and technical leaders you work closely with. Their feedback is taken into account more often than not. And also, they could initiate promotion process by, for example, complimenting you in front of the right people. Lastly, we tend to forget about the people who depend on us. Interns and mentees they can be very helpful to help fuel the promotion. If you can train people and they trust you, that's a very good sign that you are ready for a more responsible job. And it is a formal requirement in many companies, so don't ignore it. And this is it. Five reasons why you are not getting promoted. I have to admit that I was guilty at least of a couple of them. What do you think? Do they relate to you? Leave a comment down below. I will heart and pin the best ones. If you are not subscribed yet, you should be. More videos like this are coming. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Cheers.